Hello, in this video we're going to derive the mean and the variance for a beta binomial random variable. If we let x be a beta binomial with parameters n and p, where p is a random variable distributed with the beta parameters alpha and beta. So if we look at the joint distribution between x and p, and it's given all these parameters, it can be rewritten like this. So this is, you think about it as x, you know, intersect p. Then you can write it at, you know, x given p times p, you know, of course, given the parameters. So this is just conditional probability going from here to here. But, and then if we want x by itself, we have to integrate out the random variable p, and it goes from a 0 to 1. So f of x which is what we're trying to get a hold of here, the beta binomial random variable. We integrate out P from this joint uh, distribution, which is this, which is this. Now, th this piece here is a binomial distribution, right? If N and P are given, it's binomial. And here, this is a beta distribution, which is this. It can, a lot of times you see it written like this, P alpha, minus 1, 1 minus p raised to the b minus 1 divided by the beta function. But I learned it and personally like it better to write it in gamma functions, which is this here. So this piece is the 1 divided by the beta function. So this is the density of a beta. Now, if we plug in what we know here, we get this. So and since we're integrating out P, I'm going to take the constants and put them out front. And we're integrating this. But this looks like sort of like a, a, another beta distribution. So if we had the right normalizing constant, this should integrate to 1. So if we uh, take the right constant and then it's reciprocal, which means we're multiplying by 1, this will integrate to 1. And this is the result you know so if we if we put this here and then the reciprocal of this in front then it integrates to one and so this is it and so this is the beta binomial distribution now is this a PDF let's first ask that fact so it's a P is it a PDF so it me it needs to sum to one now remember X is a beta binomial so this is a you know, it ranges from 0 to n. So we go from 0 to n of this random variable. But now let's stick in what we know here, which is this distribution here. So instead of writing it like this, we went up a step, essentially here. So we put it in. Now we take the summation in, in inside, right? There's nothing infinite here, so it just goes in. But this piece right here is summing a binomial, you know, probably mass function. So it sums to one. So, so the one, it goes away. And then we're integrating a beta distribution for, over its uh, support, zero to one. And so it's one. So it is a PDF. Now let's look at the mean. So the mean is the expected value of x. So you take x times the you know, the probability of observing that x summed over all possible values, which is this. But now let's put in what f of x is, which is this piece here, right? So all we did was, yeah, we put this piece here. But I separated it. I, put, I took the x by itself and here the n minus x by itself. So that's what this piece and this piece is. You know, otherwise, you know, we could multiply those together. <laughs> so then, this we take the sum in um, here, but this is, you know, this is a binomial distribution and x times it. So this is actually the mean of a binomial distribution, which is n times p. Now the n, since it doesn't belong in the integration. We can take it out front, and then the P we'll just write, you know, we'll put right here on the next page. 
So that's what we do. So we take the n and p. Now the p has to stay in this integral. But this is a beta distribution. So it's p times the probability of observing that p integrated over all possible values. That's the mean of a beta distribution. And that's alpha divided by alpha plus beta. Right? So we get n times that mean. And so that's the mean of a beta binomial distribution. Now let's look at the second moment which then we'll, we'll take the second moment and the mean and then calculate the variance. So the second moment is the sum of x squared times the, the probability of observing that x, which is this. Now let's plug in what we know about x and then, and then we take the sum in. So I skipped a step right here, but we plugged in what f of x is and then we take the sum inside the integral sign, which is this. So we have the sum of the x squared times this binomial distribution. Well, that's the second moment of a binomial distribution. And I have a video called the mean and the variance of a binomial distribution. If you want the details of calculating that second moment. And the second moment is this. Right? Everything else comes down. The integral sign, the constant, and then, and then the dp. So now we're going to... Multiply this times this piece and this times that, right? And that plus will be right here. And since, you know, this times that is kind of long, it's here. Um, so we have the n, which is here. We have this piece, which is here. Now, this piece and this piece is 1, right? This cancels, that cancels. So we're multiplying by 1, and you'll see why in a second. And then we take that p into one of these, which is here, and this 1 minus p into this. But this is a beta distribution, so it integrates to 1, so that goes away. Now we take this times that, so we get the n squared, this out front, and then we multiply it by 1, which is this piece here. p squared goes in here, and there's no 1 minus p, so that just comes down. But this is a beta distribution, integrates to 1, we're just left over with this. Now, things cancel here. So we're left with this piece, but um, since this, this here, well, let's do this one. So this is gamma of alpha plus 1. That's equal to alpha times gamma of alpha. Then those gammas cancel and we're left with just that alpha right there. Same way here, this gamma of beta plus 1 is beta times gamma of beta. Well, the gamma of beta is canceled and we're just left with the beta. Here, this reduces to alpha plus beta plus 1 times alpha plus beta. Now, here and then for this piece, you know, the n squared comes down and then we get a similar reduction to this. Then we have like denominators, so the numerators can just add and we get this. So this is the second moment. Now the variance is, you know, the expected value of x squared minus the mean quantity squared. So we take the second moment, bring it here, and this is the mean squared. So then we get a common denominator, which is what this is. So we have to take this piece times the alpha plus beta, and then this piece times this alpha plus beta plus 1, and then the numerator reduces to this. Of course, the denominator is the same, and that's the variance of a beta binomial distribution. Well, that's all I have for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I sure did. Please like the video and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Thanks. Bye.